Hey, what's up guys? So here to small just around. Yeah, this is existing framing, so Marah. you can't win them all. <coughs> Good thing there's gonna be like crown molding and all that stuff to hide, but uh, easy. We don't have to do any trim. Anyways, let's get to it. Right here. So this is the old gun. This is the new gun. The N Super Drive N7 series fits perfectly, interchangeable. So that I was happy about that since this is the rocker we use. Um, as you can see, lengthwise is identical. So this gun is the same as this one, lengthwise. But height, so this handle is shorter. It's about two inches shorter. So from the top, it's about six inches before the battery and then over here it's uh, almost eight so about two inches uh, the weirdest thing that I had to get used to is so on these we're so used to whenever we got to pick out the OP or put it in reverse you just go like that with your finger so super easy and this thing I mean the amount of times that we do this and it's never broken uh, durability is pretty good but they did away with that on this new one so this new one you're gonna have to get used to going like this kind of like on the impact driver so that <clears throat> that is a feature that I miss honestly I'd like that you could just go like that and then boom not have to hold it a different way and push that button in um, but yeah they probably had to do that for I don't know some reasons but other than that this thing is solid so the light is on the bottom right uh you don't have anything there so i mean you can rest your finger there now i guess so that's a positive uh before there's nothing to rest your finger on you'd hold it right there so i mean in the long run it might be less fatigue on your wrist so right there but um the main thing that sets this one apart from the older version is that it's brushless a little bit more compact it is lighter it feels a, a little bit lighter so it's two inches of stuff that you know components whatever that may be but they got rid of this uh, remember that that you could lock it so that's not necessary because it has different settings so on setting number the settings are right here so before I go on the settings this clip this clip is so good look how heavy duty that is so if you're old to like old school pouches, it's perfect. Um, one of the main gripes I had with the, these guns was the hook. So we added this one. Uh, it's a 3D printed hook. Uh, this guy on Instagram called This Siding Guy sells him based out of Canada. But yeah, because the, the, the hook that it comes with breaks almost instantly. But this one is super good, nice and beefy. So it's gonna last forever. Anyway, so there's different settings on here. Let me see if I can slow it down. Okay, number two. Oh, it's on reverse. So number two is, is like normal. So pretty much what you're used to on that one, right? Let's see what number one is. Number one. You hear it? it so it, it's a lot slower. So if you have to work on something delicate where you cannot just bang it in, you're gonna wanna go on one, right? It drives slower. So option three, you press the trigger. See, it's not going, so it won't go. You don't even have to hold the trigger. Now you can just hold your gun and it'll okay. It'll drive in only when you engage it. The problem with this mode, if you're trying to go fast and you're not dead straight, you're gonna get that. But you can see you can go pretty, pretty decent speed. And the biggest plus is the gun is not making a whole bunch of noise, right? So let me put some more. Um, let me change it out actually. Let's see. So I can show you that it's the it takes the same. Oh 
that's kind of hard doing it one handed. Oh, I got it. Okay, so number two, again, all you gotta do is just push. So it's super quiet. Number three, you hold it and it stays on. So this mode actually is better than the two because you can really just go to town. And then to turn it off, you just press it again. So you can just go fast. And it drives it in because it's, it drives it in because it's going full blast. And then the last option is you press it. So last option, two, is regular. So you press the trigger. It'll go back to normal. That's a regular gun. But yeah. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I like it. Uh, with the power stack, if you're screwing off, it's gonna last you till lunchtime. So it's perfect, super light, like big difference on your wrist. You don't get tired. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll shoot some more videos. What I like to do is I have a little hook here. So I'll just put it right there, boom. And then I carry my router with this. I, I strongly encourage you guys to get this hook if you have this router. The only downside is when you're trying to grab it like in a weird way, that hook kind of gets in the way a little bit. But um, it's bendable, so you know, it's not too bad. But like, let's say you have to hold it like this, the hook is kind of, but yeah, it's super light. I carry, it, carry these two right here on my person. And it's really light, good to go. Uh, but yeah, let me show you a really bad spot.